Here I'm going to be showing you how to make a dubbing loop and use a dubbing loop tool. First thing you're going to do is pick a dubbing tool that you like. Uh, I prefer the ones that have the split prongs here. Uh, the reason I like those is this will keep your dubbing loop open so you can stick material inside the loop. And then you can close it by pulling on the thread and these little prongs will close. They do make cheaper ones that have single hooks uh, that you can hook onto your dubbing loop. You can put your material in there and twist the hook around. Uh, those are a little bit more difficult to work with. I prefer the ones that hold it open for you. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to, of course, have your thread on your hook. You're going to take two fingers. You're going to place those on the thread. You're going to pull out some excess thread, about seven, eight, nine inches or so. Larger the fly, uh, the larger your loop that you're going to use. Smaller the fly, the smaller the loop you can get away with. Then I'm going to draw my bobbin up around my fingers. And I am going to place it on the shank of the hook. Lay down some wraps. Then I'm going to wrap backwards on the loop. That way I get a perfect V right there in the loop. Uh, the pieces of thread in the loop are right next to each other. Then what you can do is take your dubbing loop tool, simply hook it onto your loop so you get something that looks like that. I don't know if you can see there, but I have that hooked onto my loop. And then you take your dubbing or your material. You can use CDC in a dubbing loop as, as well. That's the beauty of the dubbing loop is you don't just have to use dubbing. You can use feathers and other uh, types of material. And I take this dubbing. I'm going to place it inside that loop. And I can pull down on my tool. And that will close the loop for me. I try to get that in there relatively even. Then all I have to do is just spin the tool. this is going to do is bind that dubbing to the thread. Now the next thing I'm going to do, uh, some guys will actually use the tool and wrap the dubbing onto the fly. I prefer to use a pair of hackle pliers. So I just crimp those hackle pliers onto my dubbing above the tool and then I can cut my thread right below the tool here. Now my dubbing is ready to work with and I just simply can wrap it around the shank of the hook. The nice thing about a dubbing loop is the dubbing is very even, it's very proportional, and it's wound on very very tight so it won't come undone on you. It's actually one of my preferred methods of applying dubbing, it just takes a little bit more work. I'm going to zoom in here and show you what it looks like. You can see how tightly dubbed that dubbing loop makes your dubbing. And you can pick this out, you can rough it up with a brush or something like that, but you can see I can rub it here and kind of make it a little bit shaggier. And that is basically how you use a dubbing loop tool.